welcome guys, Armageddon Videos here today with a new tutorial about Illustrator and its new tools that Adobe has just announced in their latest release of Illustrator CC right here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of changes actually, but I think the most mind-blowing one was the Shaper tool for most people, although it's not so mind-blowing as you might think, but it's pretty awesome if they keep updating it during the next year, I guess. I hope so. Because, um, as you can see, they're saying it's a completely new way of working and lets you draw with loose natural gestures that magically transform into perfect geometric shapes. Well, I don't know which mathematical algorithm is behind this, but you can just draw some um, almost shapes right here with a pen. Especially, this tool is made for people with Wacom tablets or Surface Pro 4 or anything, because they had a tech demo showing it on a Surface, and it was pretty awesome. It had way more features in this tech demo, as I can see it right here on the release, but I think they keep updating it. And as you can see, you draw those loose shapes, gets into perfect geometric shapes, you can form logos out of that, and by scribbling around in the shapes, you can get rid of the foreground texture, or um, you can get rid of the stroke itself, and you can combine shapes, subtract them, just like the Pathfinder tool. And if you might think, well, was, why is it better than the Pathfinder right now, then, well, it's not better, but it's a cool addition. If they keep updating it, it's really going to be better than the Pathfinder. But right now, it's just a cool feature for people with a Surface or anything similar. Okay, enough with the introduction. I'm going to show you anything about the new... Um, or everything about the new Shaper tool with a simple example. And then we're going to create a very simple logo. So that you're up to date again. Okay, first of all, as you can see, if you're drawing something like this, it's not going to recognize its shape. But if you are drawing something like this, okay, bad example. Something like this, and that, and this, or this, you can see the perfect geometric shapes are being applied to this shape right here. But let's get rid of them, and I'm going to show you the cool new stuff right here. Let's draw two circles and let's say we want to create a moon. Just click in here and that's really confusing because you can move stuff with the new Shaper tool. Uh, that's really confusing for me because I'm always just using a direct selection tool or the selection tool. But you can now move stuff with the Shaper tool right here. You can access it by pressing Shift N. So um, if you're moving it you're selecting those two shapes right here and you want to subtract those. Whoops, you have to select both, of course. Press Shift N. And if you're now scribbling around here, boom, it's gone just like using the Pathfinder. But the cool stuff is you can see what your logo that you've just created consists of. I still have, wait, let me click in here. You have to click in here, then you get this little arrow, and if you expand it, you can see what's in the scene and how big it is. And you can now just move it, and it's going to... Whoa, I hate this. You can now just change the size, and it's dynamically adapting to it. You can change the size proportionally, just like with normal shapes. Boom. you got the pie angle right here that changes. Well, I'm not using that very often, but... Well... The cool thing about this tool now is it's non-destructive. You just go in here, expand it, click on here, and you can just adapt this um, shape how you want it. With the Pathfinder or anything else, this shape would be gone and you have to go back by pressing Ctrl-Z, undoing the step, but or using masks, but it's a lot of hassle. So I can see where this tool comes in handy if Adobe keeps updating it, so pretty awesome. Also, you can just go in here, click into this, and the foreground color gets this dotted pattern textured right here, which is indicating that you can put a color into this. Boom, really fast and easy way of coloring your objects. And yeah, that's basically the most stuff about um, the Shaper tool. And let me show me show you if I can reproduce it now. I've just made a normal shape with our rectangle tool. Selecting this one. And now, if I want to use the Pathfinder, click on here, it does not work. That's because those shapes from the Shaper tool are different. To make this work, you have to go to Object, Expand, OK, and select both. Boom. 
Yeah, because we have a stuff around here. Let me just grab a color as you can see. That's still really weird. That's because there's this path going on. Yeah, it was a bad example, guys, but I think you get the clue of this. You should have to um let me color this real quick. Oh, I already expanded it. Let's just go back some steps. So now we get rid of this object, expand. Okay. Now it should work by subtracting it. Yeah, as you can see, the path, uh, the stroke around the object was the problem, but all right. Okay, so basically you have seen anything regarding the new Shaper tool right now, and let's create a logo with it so you are good to go with the new functions. I'm going to draw out a rectangle, <laughs> a triangle, make a ellipse right here, just like this. Oh, it's even perfectly matched up in the middle. Now let's select both, get rid of the foreground color and increase the stroke to make it really thick. Just like this. And now I want to get rid of those strokes at the side. So just go to the shaper tools, scribble around the edges, boom. Now I'm seeing that hmm, maybe I want to adjust the inner circle right here. You can just grab it, change it around, boom, there you go. Pretty fast and non-destructive way of working with it. And yeah, I think it's really awesome. It will enhance your workflow later on. Let's use normal shapes. Press P, hold on Alt to make the size really hard right here. Bring it in there. Just like this. And boom, we got this one working right here, add some text maybe, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to leave it like this. And there you can see we've created our logo, no, with the new Shaper tool really fast. And I can see that for people that have a Surface Pro or a Vacuum Bamboo or, okay, not Bamboo, maybe Cintiq or stuff like this, it's actually going to help them out really fast and really good. I hope that Adobe will be working on uh, this tool a lot more, so it has a lot of potential. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. Suggest me some more tutorials in the description below. This one was a very short one just to present you the new tool. And leave a like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day. Armageddon videos.